Welcome to the Halloween Classic at Summit Motorsports Park. But for those of us that grew up here, it's just Norwalk. I uh, actually haven't been to Norwalk in a couple of years. I uh, didn't really agree with the way that the owner handled 2020, but I'm going to get into that at a different time. I grew up at this track. I got to play on this playground as a kid. Didn't quite look like this, but my kids are on there now. So anytime we get to come out to Norwalk, it's like coming home again. And when my friend Lenny said he was going to be racing to the Halloween Classic and he planned on entering the air show, the wheelie competition on Saturday night, I knew we had to come out and support him. Plus, they do trick-or-treating for the kids. So it was a good way to get the whole family to come racing with me. The Halloween Classic is a great event because it's just a family event. They do trick-or-treating for the kids. They have costume contests for kids and adults of all ages. All kinds of categories from homemade costumes to scariest and most original. And you really get to see the kids have a whole lot of fun, which is what it's all about. Even my kids participated this year. There's Nathaniel dressed as Chucky, and there's Matthias dressed as the evil clown. They were pretty excited to be all around their heroes of all the horror movies they've been watching this year. The staff gets involved. Everyone there at the park is dressed up, which can make for some pretty creepy situation sometimes when there's a clown overseeing everything. After the costume contest, we headed back over to the pit side. That's where they do the trick-or-treating, and uh, they call it the witching hour. They shut down the whole park for an hour. Uh, they shut the lights off. There's no motorized vehicles allowed at all. So no cars, no golf carts, no pit bikes, anything. So it's just safe for the kids to trick-or-treat. It's really cool. Everyone really gets involved. There's some elaborate trailers that are decorated up. Some of them are even set up like haunted houses that the kids can go through. They um, go from trailer to trailer, and it lines the whole drag strip all the way down and back. So they walk about a mile, and each one of the kids came over with a bag of candy that was nine pounds each.
Okay. Okay. Go ahead, buddy. I'm right behind you. Is it that scary? Okay. Go in there. Go in there. You want to go in the They closed the witching hour with some fireworks and then we knew it was time to go and strap the GoPros onto Lenny's car and get ready for the air show. We were pretty excited about all the cool footage we were going to get from three different angles.
the screen. Are you good with that? All right. Oh my God. So at this point you may be asking yourself, what happened to Lenny? Well, his coil wire popped off inadvertently when they were loading the nitrous to him. He didn't realize it. He also didn't realize that the system was still on. So you can actually hear the nitrous solenoids opening. So with the system still armed, he keeps giving it gas to try to start it. He loaded the whole carburetor up with nitrous. It's not starting. I gotta get this hood off. You got the screwdriver? <laughs> it's not starting. Okay. I think I killed the battery running the uh, heater. It won't crank or it won't fire? It's sitting on the floor here. It's cranking, it's just won't fire. I'll turn the pump on. Where's your coil, where's your coil at? Inside. I think you need to be trying to fire. Oh, oh dude, what's this wire? This one just fell out. Uh oh, look up here. That's a compromise. What about that? This is the concerns. Huh? We got it. Uh, we did the playback, oh, and uh, this is the spark. Yeah, it's not getting spark. Which is yeah, shocking, but I, I, I. Try it real quick from out there. That coil, that coil plug feels. The coil what? plug. What's that now? Yeah. Try it real quick. The coil plug feels like shit, but I don't think that's it. for the firewall and he was he was doing it on the inside when he messed with the inside one it must have come loose and uh it started to fire but when it fired there's so much fuel in there yeah got the butterflies now it's wide open throttle the front and back and unfortunately that's racing yeah.